Hi, I'm Steve. I'm one of the founders of LeeWorks and at the moment we're building our new workshop. And one of the main things that we're looking at is battery powered hand tools. Um, mainly we're sort of looking at DeWalt tools. Um, it's probably my personal favourite brand. Um, we have looked at other tools, Ryobi being one of them. Um, but the thing about the DeWalt tools is they make a really good set of tools but they don't do a lot of variety so they don't make some of the more random things like glue guns and stuff like that. So what I found on Amazon um, was this for 30 quid. Uh, so it's an it's an Incor battery glue gun. Now the thing about that was, is that the batteries that come with it look suspiciously like a DeWalt battery. So as you can see, the batteries are pretty similar. Um, they certainly look like one would fit with the other. Um, very similar terminals as well. Uh, but they don't, they're, they're slightly different. So when well, we thought it can't be that hard to do it, we've got things here like 3D printers and stuff like that. So let's have a go at printing our own battery terminal. So the battery terminal in the bottom of these, as you can see, is this little black piece of plastic here. So all we really need to do is to change this one over to work the same way as that. So where's the original in-core part? And here's the part that we 3D printed. So you can see that the differences are, this bit is a little bit shorter than this bit, uh, and the pins are spaced out a little bit wider. And then all we need to do is, there's some holes in the bottom of here, and these accept bog standard crimp on spared clips. And they just fit snugly in there. And there you have it, that's the final piece. And then that fits onto the DeWalt battery. So that's it, we've literally got that. Unscrew the side of the glue gun, swap that bit of plastic over, crimp those onto the power terminals. We've also printed a little bit here, um, just to stop the battery wobbling about because there's, there's sort of an extra bit of space there that I want to get rid of and then just cut these tiny little tabs at the front. As you can see, the DeWalt doesn't have those. Um, the other thing that we really wanted to print though was this gasket around here, because if you look, there's a little gap all the way around. So it doesn't affect how it works, everything's still rock solid, but we could do with filling in this little gap. And one of the ideas was to print this piece and have it extended around here but that's not something we can do really without a 3D scanner. So in a perfect world, it would come off in one go. So in a perfect world, we'd engineer this piece to fit all the way around here and be a sort of gasket, and that would get rid of that. Um, one of the things that I've looked at doing is putting some shoe glue around it or whatever it's called, a little sort of rubber moldable stuff to make a little gasket. But if anybody's got a 3D scanner um, that could scan this for us or could buy one and scan one or whatever we could sort out, I mean, I, I think there'd be a, a really great project there to scan that and turn that into a single piece. So a few things about this. The glue gun itself already has a battery low voltage cutoff built into it. Um, so it's limited to 14 volts, which is a tiny bit low. Um, I'd have probably gone for 15 volts, which is three volts per cell. Uh, but it's got a 14 volt cutoff, so you're still within the safety sort of margins of, of a DeWalt battery. Um, it's 2.8 volts per cell. So you don't need to worry about it destroying your batteries. You just switch it on, let it do its thing. You know, obviously when you've done using it, turn it off. But you're not gonna break any batteries this way, um, so it's, it's safe to do. So I'm gonna put a link to the STLs in the description below, and if anyone else has a go at doing this, you know, let us know how you get on. Um, if you need to order one, you can get them from Amazon. I can include the link to that as well. Um, and you know, everything that we've got on this, we'll, we're happy to share with the community and, and see if other people can benefit from it. Um, if you like this and sort of other random little projects, we're gonna do a ton of these things. We've got a few other ones lined up um, for the equipment behind me here. We're gonna make some custom racking for the uh, Lin bins. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to subscribe the like button, comment below, it all helps. Cheers.